Mm -hmm. Oh, right. We're just going straight into that. How's it going if you haven't seen humans on camera before? I'm Sam. My wife Amanda will be joining us in just a second. She had a long night and will be wake or just woke up, so give her a little bit. We foster kittens. Our current litter are the Shelbys, and in the other room, Viking the kitten. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, yeah, we multicast oh, on about a dozen different platforms. So yeah, see if I. Uh, start talking to people that you're not seeing that's why and if I miss your comments I apologize I can only see so much at once the best platforms to watch on and chat are the biggest ones so mixer twitch YouTube Periscope things like that D live uh, and we do these chats four times a week Mondays at noon Tuesday and Thursdays around 9 30 p.m. and Saturday mornings usually around 10 a.m. getting a little slower start today because Amanda has been uh, waking up every two hours to feed Viking, who's in the other room. I slept through my alarm last night. Oh no. Yeah. Occasionally every two hours. <laughs> so yeah, we do these chats to give updates on the kittens and answer any questions you may have on the kittens or fostering or anything. So feel free to ask. Um, and with that, yeah, we are currently fixing the test book. Um, oh, hi buddy. <coughs> Uh, yeah, we're cur as I said, we're currently fostering two litters. One's a solo litter, but uh, five kittens total. So in this room, the Shelbys, um, Arthur, Tommy, Ada, and Polly. And in the other room, which is off camera, uh, Viking the kitten, who is seven days old now? Yeah. Yeah, so these guys are all eight weeks, and Viking is seven days. Um, yesterday... The Shelby's had their spay and neuter appointments, and everyone is doing great. So they are officially available for adoption in the Los Angeles area. So if you're in Los Angeles or know someone in Los Angeles who should have a cat or four, um, <laughs> bold move there, Amanda. Uh, have them go to kittenrescue.org and fill out an adoption jump form. Off, but he went along for the ride. So I was like, I don't know what this is Yeah. Uh, cool. Can, um, oh, never mind. What? Can you put one of those blankets on that bed? This brown one? Yep. started. How's it going? Yeah, I'm just giving updates on the kittens. So the kittens in this room, the Shelby's, all had their spay and neuter appointments yesterday. Everybody's doing great. As you can see, they're all full of energy. And uh, that makes them officially available for adoption. And then Viking, the kitten who's in the other room, um, big updates with him is he's up to how much now? 156. 156, that's grams. So he's put on about 46 grams since he got here, which is great. Yeah, a bit of a slow start, but uh, he's, he's doing okay now. Is that accurate? Yeah. Good. Hey, Ricardo. So yeah, if anyone's in the Los Angeles area or has friends in Los Angeles, uh, these kittens are available for adoption. You can go to kittenrescue.org and fill out an adoption form there. And we'll do close-ups of the kittens in just a little bit and let them get their energy out. Hopefully I catch them before they fall asleep completely. Yeah, if you have any questions... Oh yeah, we need to feed them. They won't fall asleep until after they eat that. If anybody has any questions about the kittens or fostering, what we do, anything like that, Feel free to ask. Oh, we should change the sign. Yeah. Okay. 
<clears throat> I'm going to step out for one second. I'll be right back. Oh, I can do that too. Well, then I'm going to step out for three seconds. How's it going, everybody? All right. If you have questions, please let us know. Or we have nothing to chat about. <laughs> Sam and I will have to talk to each other. Oi. Oh, hello, child. What's going on with you? I thought you were supposed to. I thought you were watching the show. Do you like that part? You can't. No, no, you don't have to. with Arthur. He's the brown tabby over by that tunnel back there. So this kitty, come here. You jumping on the bed? Well, that white one was Tommy. He's the biggest and he's a little crazy. And this is Polly. She's Calico. Hello. Oh, Ada. Everybody's crazy this morning. I intended, when they got home from their spay neuter last night, I intended to just put them in the pen for a second while I had got the room set up. They were out. And then they just passed out. And so I was like, well, clearly they're just a little tired and worn out from that ordeal. So yeah. I just let them stay in the pen for the rest of the day and they were fine. <clears throat> they didn't really come out of it until like really late. Yeah, night, it was right, pretty late. Yeah. That was a different bet than we normally go to. Yes. <clears throat> so I guess they dose differently. Maybe. Okay. It's eleven o'clock. Mm -hmm. We're late this morning, aren't we? Yep. And on top of that, my the countdown thing didn't happen. What's going on with that thing? Oh, really? Yeah. Check out them. Yeah. Well, at 11.30, I need to feed. Viking? Viking. Are we on the 30s now? That's awkward. Hmm. Maybe 11. Jeez. You need a tiger. Yeah, I just got off last night because I slept through my alarm. Yeah. <coughs> so I got a little thrown off. But he was fine. I might have done a little bit to get some extra sleep. Did Iris come in here? Uh huh. That's what I thought. She came in, in her little fish blanket and said, um, Oh, okay. She said, I want to snuggle. Oh, she said, she came in with her fish blanket and said, I don't like this part of the show. But then she went out in the hall, took <coughs> off the fish blanket, and tried to come back in uh -huh. to snuggle Arthur, but she wasn't wearing pants. So I said, if you want to snuggle Arthur, you I need see. to have pants on. Okay. So now she has pants on. All right, Wendy over on D Live. The two white kittens are Tommy and Ada. Tommy has a very faint gray mark on his forehead. That's the best way to tell them apart. It's real hard to see on camera. Um, the tabby that my daughter has cornered is Arthur, and the calico is Polly. Um, she's a little off camera right yeah, now. Yeah, I and mean, Polly's mostly oh, white. There she is. There so she is. sometimes she's it's hard white. to tell, too. Her calico colors are only on her head and her tail. <laughs> And then in the I other room. Say a quick hello, and then you need to go back. I think he might want to go potty, honey. Oh uh, yeah, he was trying to. Do <clears> I think he was going to the litter box. And then in the other room, we have a small um, tabby named Viking, who is seven days old. Seven days old. I'm gonna try and get a picture 
biking today. I want to try and take a picture like every week. Uh -huh. Yeah. <coughs> two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Yeah. Apple. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. These guys are full of energy, man. Mm -hmm. Well, they slept all yesterday. Yeah, you can Yeah. Tommy and Ada each have one blue eye and one green eye. Yeah. Uh, they like don't know what that thing cute. is under the board. Oh, it's <laughs> um, Wendy on DLive asks, how long have you fostered? We've been fostering for three years. Uh, we've had 81 kittens to date, plus some guest fosters and things like that. But 81 that have been like long-term fosters, uh, and a few, a few other moms. special circumstances. Yes, we've had three moms. You said kittens, but we've had. That's moms. true. We've, we've had, had three moms. Five moms. Five moms? Oh wow, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. And uh, one pregnant mom that we then fostered the kittens from. I was counting her. I mean, I was counting yeah. her too, but just to specify, yeah. we've had one pregnancy. One pregnancy, one birth and delivery. And the others were. Yeah. All this. Yeah. And we basically yeah. started out with older kittens, and then as we've gone through the years, we've gotten younger and younger, <clears throat> done the pregnant mom thing, and now Amanda has taken on a lot more bottle babies, like biking. All right, Iris, I think it's time for you to wrap it up. She's singing rock a baby to him. Oh, my goodness. I was just trying to make him play with singing. Yeah. All right, you're missing your show. I want you to go back out now. So this is Tommy. So that's the gray mark I was talking about. That's the best way to tell him apart, which is so faint, even close he's up. He's a little bit bigger, so if they're he is side bigger. by side, you might be able to tell. Hey, he's a larger girl, one too. Like Iris. Yeah, I Arthur's looking particularly fluffy today. Yeah. Hey, you're my he is. Did they clean him or something? But he needs like the white. Yeah, it's really hard. They can't get it out if it's in there. Alright, bye bye. Don't say goodbye. Don't climb up to say goodbye. Just say no. Okay, give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Come on. Okay, time to go. Oh my god, Iris. You can come in later instead, but when we're trying to have a chat, it's just too hard. Too many voices in the room. <clears throat> Bye. Oh, I'm still waking up. Sorry. I'm so tired. Oh, I love it when they climb on top of that. Scratch your face. It's hilarious. Hi. Who is that? Ada? Arthur? Thomas? I can't remember anybody's name right now. Tommy. Tommy made it on top of the scratcher. Good boy. Oh, it's going off.
Okay, sorry about that, gang. Where were we, question-wise? Uh, the one with the dark tail, the white cat with the dark tail, that's the calico, that's Polly. This one. Being extra gentle with them because they were just spayed and neutered yesterday. Let's go big screen. There she is. This Polly with the tail. I know you want to get down. Smelling it because it smells like the vet. Sure. Oh, Arthur. Okay. Now, now. Okay. Did you answer that? Yes. The one with the dark tail. Polly. Yes. <clears throat> Been there, done that. Okay. Okay. Did you go through all of our spiel? Spiel, spiels? Yes. I should do that again. Um, Wendy says, my husband and I enjoy watching them play. Awesome. Well, we're glad, stick we're glad to share it. More <coughs> packing. Yeah, they're going to get some <laughs> food and even more energy. Uh, Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Sometimes the food. Out, but I, don't think they're gonna out. I mean, they slept so much yesterday, I feel like yeah. anything's going to get them going. Why do you force me into this? I don't have the energy for this. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to just stand there and basically do nothing. Uh-huh. Just for a minute. Uh, Wendy asks, how did you get involved being a foster? You want to take that? Yeah, so um, several, many, many years ago, probably like, I don't know, eight or nine years ago, um, we were actually adopting our cat, Anara, and we were at the animal shelter, and they had signs posted that said they needed um, fosters for underage kittens. And... I mentioned it to Sam. I said, I've always wanted to do that. Every time I like see these signs and hear about this, I've always wanted to do this. It's like eight years ago or nine years ago. And um, I asked him about it and I said, can we do that? And at the time we were living in like a one bedroom apartment. We'd just gotten married. Um, I had a dog and a cat and we were getting a cat for him. And uh, so it was sort of one of those like, in the future down the road things when we have more space and whatever and he said will you let me live stream it and i said yeah and he's like because you know the internet loves kittens and he was really big into live streaming then and searching for good things to stream um so that we kind of mentioned it brought it up then and then nothing really happened and then about, so we moved into a house to a much larger house um had a lot more space and then my older cat passed away. So this was maybe like five years later. And when he passed away, like about a year later, I said, you know, I kind of miss having a cat. I don't think I'm ready to adopt another cat just yet. So um, maybe I'll give that fostering thing a try for a little while. And he was like, yeah, go for it. And so um, my fr a friend of mine had fostered through an organization called Kitten Rescue LA. Um, and suggested I try them. And actually, actually, our first fosters came through the app next door. Someone in the neighborhood had just posted. It was like springtime, of course, and they're like, "Someone, you know, cat had kittens in my yard. I can't take care of them." And I said, "I will." So our first two fosters we just took in on our own. 
Um, but while I was fostering them, I applied to foster through Kitten Rescue. So when those two kittens were gone, I got my next litter and all my other litters from Kitten Rescue and we've been fostering with them now um, since like the spring of 2017. And that's pretty much that. And it just kind of, originally I thought like, well, you know, maybe we'll just foster during kitten season, a couple litters a year or something like that. And I just kind of got hooked. Like it's every time we adopt a litter out, as soon as they were gone, I'm like, okay, where's the next kittens, you know? So we've been fostering year round um, since then. Yes, Amanda is notorious for saying, we should take a break. And 24 later, 24 hours later, Four hours later. On, the, on the website looking at new litters. Probably <coughs> uh, I don't want you jumping that high. I'm going to pop a stitch. Um, but yeah, so we've been fostering for about three years and it's been a great experience. Part of it, I think, was so like, um, you know, when I first mentioned it when we were in our apartment and we weren't really able to, like right after that we moved to a house, we had a baby, um, we had another baby. <laughs> We had our two girls like back to back, you know, and so when we, when Kata was gone and I was like, okay, I think I'm ready, you know, for another cat or ready to start fostering. It was basically like Iris and Betty were both, by that point, like I wasn't nursing anymore, but I hadn't gone back to work. So I was home, but I think I was bored. Right. You know, yeah, it's just like I time. needed everything I did was for the kids and with the kids. I didn't really have a lot of free time. It was more just like I didn't have anything that was mine. Sure. I wasn't working. Everything I did was about them and for them. And I just wanted to do something that was like for me. You right. Know? And I was done with the, you know. But at that point, they weren't both babies anymore. They were like, Iris was a toddler and I wasn't nursing. And, you know, it was getting a little easier. Uh, Wendy on D Live says, I wouldn't be able to let them go. It's, I mean, yeah. It's you, hard. It, it, it can attached. be hard. We definitely get attached. But we, the, that's probably <laughs> why we just keep getting more kittens. Because yeah, the minute it softens you know, the blow, they're gone, but... if you go pick up kittens that day or the next day, it's like, you know, it definitely you got this other thing helps. to look at. Yeah. Also, the the organization that I that we foster through, um, it's not like a shelter where once they're eight weeks old and they're ready for adoption, like these kittens are, since they were just spayed and neutered yesterday. Most of the time, you take them back to the shelter and say, "Okay, here are the kittens. They're ready for adoption," and then they handle the rest. And you sort of never know what happens. Um, with the, the rescue that we foster through, we are responsible for getting them adopted. So I have to take photos and write bios, post them online, take them to adoption events on the weekends at pet stores. I meet all the adopters. I go over all of their applications. I do home checks um, and I, I choose the adopters. And I usually stay in touch with all of them and I get updates and photos and everything. So that helps. I mean, knowing where they've gone, that they've gone to a good home. Um, I see constantly how they're doing, that they're doing well. You know, it that makes it easier. Like our last kittens that we just adopted out were a pair, a brother-sister pair that we rescued when they were one day old. And they were the, the youngest bottle babies I've ever taken care of. And I got extremely attached to them. But the woman who adopted them found us early, became part of our online chat community. And like, we got really close, you know, and we we're talking a lot. And she made an Instagram for them. And she posts pictures every day. And, you know, it's just her and her husband and her daughter. And, like... I know that they have a better life with them than I could have given them. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they love them so much, and they are so well taken care of. And, like, honestly, 
you know, when you find an adopter that you know can take care of the kittens even better than you can, it's like, that's a good thing. Because here, you know, we have the kids and we constantly have fosters and we have our own cats already and it's like, they just wouldn't get the same attention and the same individual, you know, the love and everything. Yeah. Like, we can't even let our cats come in here and sleep with us at night because of the foster. Foster. So, you know. It's okay. I feel happy when the kittens get adopted because I know that they're going to a great place. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel uh, like excited for them to start their new life with their new family. You know? Good question. Wendy asks, do you get help with expenses? So, and I'm sure Amanda will fill in the blanks on this. So, yeah, we volunteer through Kitten Rescue, who covers all of the medical expenses. Um, so when the kittens are ready to be adopted, like the age they are at now, Kitten Rescue will have helped them get vaccines and microchipped and spayed and neutered and things like that. All the other expenses are um, up to us to, to fill in the blanks on. So food and litter, accessories, any kind of like vitamins or nutrients that we might have to give them, things like that, probiotics, whatnot. Uh, those we cover. Yeah. Toys, blankets, pens, yeah. litter boxes, food dishes, um, like all that kind of stuff. We, yeah. We pay for, but which we, is why we get yeah. help from the community. And yeah, it helps we, a lot. <laughs> we have a really great community through the live stream and our other social that have helped us cover those costs. Because when you're fostering a litter of nine kittens, you go through a crap ton of food. Yeah, that was big. That was big. Um, <clears throat> it's like a hundred dollars a week. <laughs> yeah. So we All do. Right, kittens. We do have a wish list. Uh, if you go to cuteavalanche.com/wishlist. Oh yeah, I'll put this one. Um, you can purchase things directly. So you're like, I know that this money goes straight toward food, or straight toward litter, or I want to give the kittens a toy. Um, but also, if you just want. If you know, people out there want to donate, you can always drop a donation on um, qialanch.com slash donate. And all that goes toward the kittens. Oh, we do also have a Patreon, and it's slowly growing. I want to give a quick shout out to all our patrons or donors, because um, that's really great. Because we know, that's like, it's a monthly subscription to, you know, help the kittens which is awesome because we know in advance like we're getting this amount in this will cover x amount of things so it's really nice to see that um mm -hmm. we've had some really good donors come through lately to pledge other rescues do supply give supplies yeah um we like do especially food and litter and occasionally our rescue does um <coughs> like Thanks. most recently they just got a big donation from um, World's Best Cat Litter, which I think World's Best gives them a large donation at least once a year, yeah, sometimes definitely. twice. So when things like that happen, they'll call out the fosters and say, hey, come by, you know, come by the sanctuary Get and a bag pick, of litter. Up, pick up a few bags of litter or whatever. If we get like a food donation or something, they'll offer that up. Um, but, you know, the day-to-day -day stuff is really kind of falls on us. Yeah. And things like carriers and oh sure yeah. cat trees and, and the and pen and, and yeah cat trees and all that stuff yeah all the fun stuff shark shaped beds <laughs> right there was something I just thought of a minute ago what was it probiotics no wipes no There's a lot of disinfectants and wipes. Oh, well, like, for a Viking, too, like, so I have to get KMR for him, which is kitten meal replacement. It's, like, the powdered milk for kittens and, like, bottles and heating pad. Oh, the scale. That's what uh, I was thinking a minute ago. That's one thing yeah. that, like, you don't get. And I don't even oh, know yeah. if the other shelters give scales to their fosters, but you have to weigh them every single day. It's, like, a requirement, so you kind of have to have a scale. Yeah. I remember our first couple litters... We just did it with me holding the kitten and stepping on the scale. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, it's just not to... very accurate. And they were big enough, yeah. But yeah, like, with the tiny bottle things, oh my god, we you can't. Because you're just weighing in grams. He's not even like five ounces. Yeah. So, 
Well, yeah, you. Bridget, the skill that we have actually came from Bridget, yeah, who is my that. best friend, who's also, who's the one who told me about Kitten Rescue, because um, she had fostered for them years ago, and then she started fostering for them again shortly after I did, um, and she had she was using it as like a kitchen scale, I think. Right. Maybe she was using it for kittens, but she had an extra, like right. she had another one, so she loaned it to me, and then when I offered to return it, she just told me to keep it. That's good. <clears throat> But yeah, I can't imagine like trying to take care of biking and not having that scale. Yeah. How would I ever know right. if he were gaining or losing? Or... Yeah. And you have to weigh them every day because sometimes losing weight is the first indication or sometimes Something's the only bad. indication yeah. you'll have that something is wrong with the kitten. But it is nice to know that like, you know, something happens to them and they need an emergency vet or whatever, we don't have to pay for any of that stuff, which is great. Yeah, the, the rescue yeah. has been really amazing with any kind of um, emergency situations. Like, yeah, and you know, almost all, having all the, that, that's the big stuff really, is like the spay and neuter and the combo testing and all the medications and stuff like that. If we had to pay for all that, we'd never be able to do it. So <clears throat> it's nice that they cover that. scale. Upgrade it? Uh, get a what? smart scale. What would that do? It would, it would uh, basically we'd be able to show the weight on screen. I see. <clears throat> did your ball get stuck, Tommy? Yeah, it did with these. <laughs> you like, can't figure out how to get it out. Just find a different ball. It's like, but red and yellow is the best one. <laughs> If Polly, Polly's using the, the scratching post as like a step to get onto the bed. Yeah, you should put so this silly. Forward. Quad it. Right there. So I don't know what's going on with these guys. Uh, um, as far as? Just adoptions. I haven't even begun to... Muslim. Yeah, to like collect, you know, photos or um, right. write bios or anything like that. But officially, they can be posted online. It's just about how quickly I'm going to get my act together and actually post them. That's good. <clears throat> I haven't, I'll you, race I, you because I'm going to try and make videos. <laughs> I did start like an inst when I started fostering. I started an Instagram that was just for the kittens at uh, Per Foster Mama. So I do a lot of times get some really good adopters just from Instagram and I usually don't even have to post them on the kitten rescue website once they've been spayed and neutered at least the last group I didn't um, but it just kind of depends on the time of year I think there's a lot of kittens available this time of year so there's not as many people interested I was hoping I, I would just get an interested person through Instagram but yeah. that hasn't happened so so I gotta get these kittens online. Yeah. Because there's no adoption events to take them to these days. Yeah. As far as I know, we're still not doing that. So we're not doing any oh, in-person sure. adoptions. I would doubt it. Even yeah. though pet stores are open, but yeah. we're just not doing them. Yeah, I doubt they want people like staking <clears throat> out a portion of the store for right. an extended period. Right. So all that's still happening online. They so. might be doing the. Um, what do you call it? The uh, drop-off adoption thing where you put them in a display. Those stores. Oh, like the enclosures. The enclosure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think um, they probably are doing that. Wendy asks, how much does it cost to adopt? Um, so for kitten rescues policies, it is uh, $120 for a kitten under two years old. If you adopt two kittens, it's $200. So you save 20 bucks off each kitten, or no, yeah, twenty dollars off each kitten, forty dollars total. Um, so those are kittens from zero to two, and then from two to ten years old, the adoption fee is cut in half, so it's sixty dollars for a cat. And then cats over ten years old, the adoption fee is waived, so seniors are free. Regular cats are sixty, and kittens are one twenty or two hundred for a pair. And kitten rescue's policy is any cat who um, is under four months old, kitten under four months old, needs to be adopted with another kitten or to a home that already has a young active kitty playmate. So we don't adopt out any young kittens as solos, just because 
there's so still so much development happening, brain development and all that stuff that they really need the interaction of another cat to play with and wrestle with and learn limits about scratching and biting and all that kind of stuff. Basically, anytime we ever adopt out a young kitten under four months old as an only, the adopter always comes back and says, this kitten is crazy, <laughs> I need to return it, or I need another one to keep it company. So that's just their policy. Um, there are a lot of places that don't have that policy, and a lot of people don't like that we have that policy, and they say, oh, but I've always only ever had just one cat. It's like, well, then you don't know what you're missing, because when you get so two cats who love each other and are bonded, it's pretty awesome, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's really not that much of a difference as far as care goes, you know, or even space or anything like that. So... I mean, it definitely wasn't something that I really thought about before fostering, but now I definitely see like the benefits of yeah. it for sure, and that it is really important. And they are very so. If people think of cats as not being social, but that's just not true. <clears throat> and it's so much easier for a, a tiny kitten to transition from a foster home to their forever home with a buddy for sure keep each other company when you can't be home keep each other out of trouble Please keep, keep, um, keep it up. Thanks, I don't hear one man show today. Our but, uh, only chatter today, but you know, it gives us something to talk about. No, usually there are more people. Yeah, usually there are um, more. I think we got. We got uh, a late start. Today, we got a late start. So. Maybe everyone's just prepping for uh, Father's Day. We got busy. Yeah, right. Pre Father's Day <laughs> prep to do. Um, but I was going to say about the the cost of adoption is um that really though. $120 is kind of a lot, but at the same time, like, the kittens are coming to you already spayed and neutered, already microchipped, combo tested for feline AIDS, feline leukemia, vaccinated, given worm meds, right. given flea meds. Like, if you added up the expense of all of it, just yeah. the spay and neuter at some vets can be more than $120. Oh, sure. You know, combo tests are yeah. always $40 or more. So it's like, right. that's, it you know, the goes, rescue loses money on, on every kitten. Right. That yeah. Comes it just goes care. back to helping mm -hmm. the, the rescue recoup their losses. Like if you were to right. if you were to adopt through some shelters, they would make you pay for um, the spay and neuter surgery right. before you can adopt. Right. So it's like when we adopted Anara. Yes. We, we paid for that. her adoption fee, but then we had to pay for the spay and neuter. Somewhere. Right. Uh, um, and a lot of shelters, they'll have, you know, specials throughout the year, like a clear the shelters weekend or a special adoption weekend, especially during times like kitten season and stuff. And they'll like waive all their adoption fees, which right. is great. But then when you're giving away free cats, you get a lot of people who come in and, you know, they're not really serious or maybe they don't have the means to actually take care of a cat, you know, yeah. all the time. And then that cat ends up getting abandoned or returned or you know lining up the shelter again or whatever so i don't necessarily think that giving away free cats is the best policy right. <clears throat> um hey jake joined us finally hey jake how's hey, it going jake. wendy asks going? just for information how close would i have to be to you to adopt um you would have to live in the los angeles area so los angeles county and really part partly that depends on um, who the foster is and yeah, what time depends, of year it is. It depends on the foster too because there are fosters all over the city. Like there are fosters in Long Beach, there are fosters in Pasadena, 
and um, because the foster is the one doing all of the adoption stuff, um, some fosters don't want to go that far. You know, if, especially if they get multiple applications for a cat, they might choose somebody who lives 20 minutes away versus somebody who lives an hour away. Since LA is so big, you could feasibly both be in LA and still be an hour away from each other. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, we don't, sh you know, ship out of state. We don't drive down to San Diego. And it's, it's you know, LA is uh, kitten rescues policy. We're a local LA rescue. We're not like a national rescue or anything like that. And um, because we do home checks, um, it's really important that our adopters are local, even though the home checks recently have all been done uh, virtually yeah. through video chat and stuff. Um, it's still part of our policy. Yeah. Well, he says, unfortunately, we're in South Carolina. Right oh, on. That is very far. That is very <laughs> far. But there are other rescues yeah. and, and shelters and fosters out in that Definitely area. You will find kittens in yeah. South Carolina if you, if you look hard. <laughs> um, Jake, it's a warm state, so, you know. That's true. There's for sure kittens there. So. <laughs> uh, Jake asks, how are you doing today? We're doing good. A little sleepy. Yep. Um, Amanda's still waking up pretty much every two hours to bottle feed Viking, uh, who's in the other room, so she's pretty drained. We're both kind of still fighting this uh, this cold. Um, but beyond that, good. Everyone's good. Hope you guys are all well. Uh, Amanda's just filling out the... Uh, <coughs> Just have to Medical write, form. Write down all the stuff that they got done yesterday. Yeah. They got spayed and neutered. They got combo tested. Did they, they get chipped? They got microchipped. Cool. Arthur. Uh, Goose Grayson Robin over on D Live. Welcome, says LOL the cats. Yes, they have a lot of energy right now um, because A, they just had breakfast, but also yesterday they had a pretty sleepy day. Um, they were spayed and neutered, so they'd been given anesthetic and basically slept yesterday away. So now they're like, I remember how legs work, freedom! <clears throat> or as the chat captioning says, I remember how eggs work, not what I said, closed captioning. <laughs> All right, I'll take another one. Ada? All right. Um, yeah, feel free to uh, screen cap your favorite closed captioning mishap and tweet at QDAP Avalanche with it or just send it to us. That's not our name. Um, <laughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Oof. It's a Utah Avalanche. I don't even know. It's a Utah avalanche? Yeah, I can't even oh with this closed captioning. So silly. All right, another one. Polly. Um, let's see. Another one. And Tommy. And yeah, for those of you just joining us, uh, who missed the updates at the beginning. Uh, this is our Catterday chat. We do these four times a week. 
Saturdays around 10 a.m., a little late start today, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9.30 p.m., and Mondays at noon, Pacific Standard Time. We are based in Los Angeles. Hello, Sparkle. Uh, hey, Sparkle. And Wendy asks, does a human sleep in the room with them? Yes, this is a human bed. This is our master bedroom. Um, so at night, they go into the pen on camera four, and that's like a four by four pen. It's plenty so, of room. So yeah, they, during the day, we've learned over the years of fostering so much, we put plastic on our bed. So we take off all of our bedding, put it into the closet, put plastic on the bed, and put a, a sheet over that for the kittens. So this is like our kitten setup. Put away our stuff, we put down the plastic, we put on the sheet, we put out the toys. I mean, these guys are very good about using their litter box, but when they're kittens, especially when they're younger, you know, five weeks, six weeks, seven weeks, they're still kind of getting the hang of the litter box and stuff, and they have their occasional accidents or what have you, or they, you know, poop in the box and then step in it and spread it all around the room, whatever. So, um, so we just do this, makes it easier for them. Um, also, our comforters down. Cats are really attracted to peeing on down. Um, so we've learned this is a good setup. And when we have full litters, they're just too wild and crazy at night for my husband to deal with having them sleep with us. So we put them into a pen. It's nice. It helps them kind of get into the routine of like, okay, lights are going off. It's time to settle down now. You know, they have a litter box. They have food and water in there. They have a little bed. They all snuggle together. Um, and so that works for us. You, a lot of times if um, they start getting adopted out and then we end up with just like maybe the last two kittens of a litter before they've been adopted, then we will um, usually just kind of let them sleep in the bed with us at that point because by that age they're generally using the litter box perfectly and they're not so crazy, you know, if, especially if there's only two. There's more than two, they just kind of feed off each other's energy and they're a little nuts. Um, but if there's just two, a lot of times we'll start letting them sleep with us. And if we have a mom with kittens, then usually the mom sleeps with us. The mom kind of has free range of the room and just the kittens are in the pen at night. And we usually make it accessible so that she can jump in and out if she needs to be in with them. <clears throat> if they're nursing or whatever. I was just saying that moms sleep with us. Yeah. And the kittens are penned. And then explaining that an entire litter is just too many kittens to have sleeping in your bed. Yeah. <laughs> but if we just have one or two, then, then we usually let them. And also, generally, if we leave them out, they'll stay awake a lot longer. And if we put them off in the pen, they're more inclined to actually go to sleep. Yeah, that's what I said. It kind of helps with their routine. They learn that like lights out means just settle down and go to sleep. <laughs> Jake says, hey, Sam and Sam wife. <laughs> hey, Jake. Have you not picked up Amanda's name at this point? Just I'm pretty sure you got that. All right, you're just being silly. Wife. <clears throat> that's all I am. I'm just a wife. I'm just a wife. Foster lady. Yeah. Cat lady. Um, what was the how cool about? What did I? What was cool? I want to know cool. Um. I don't know. I think that was something you said. Uh, okay. I don't know what's cool, Spark Sparkle. Sparkle says hi, Amanda. And Amanda <laughs> husband. I actually was trying to figure like phrase that in my head and I'm not awake enough That's to funny. have pulled it off. Um, how, Sparkle, I didn't see this one. How are they doing after their surgeries? Um, they're doing really well, as you can see. They're running around, they're great. Yesterday, they came home in the afternoon and um, I set them in the pen just because I hadn't yet, like, you know, taken our bedding off and stuff and oh. hadn't set up the room. And so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna put you guys in the pen for a few minutes. Um, okay while I set up the room and they all passed out. <laughs> so I just let them stay in the pen. They stayed in the pen for the whole day yesterday. They were really tired and like just, you know, relaxing and chilling. And that was for the best anyway, because they really shouldn't be running around and stuff immediately afterwards. Um, so they rested yesterday and they did awesome. And so today they're full of energy and they're clearly doing good. 
Ale Dream. <clears throat> Nobody had any like nausea or Welcome. anything like that. Everybody's doing well. It doesn't appear that anybody's been um, particularly interested in their incisions, licking or anything. Yeah, I like haven't that. seen anything so that's like good. that. So that's good. Yeah. Uh, let's catch up. Ale Dream says, Hi, Sam. Hi, Welcome to our kitten world. Sparkle says, Tommy looked like he was going to fall asleep right in the water. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, they were like, No. Sparkle says, They are lovely. Yeah, yeah. they're good. That, this is a good litter. I know. I'm sad that not they're not too crazy. They're like ready to go already. I they've, been, had... they've only been here for like two weeks. I know. <clears throat> two and a half weeks. I've had like, no leg climbing at all, not a single This has instance. been a good year. Yeah. Our last several litters pretty good. have been non-leg this climbers. This is pretty funny, on cam four. So the toy is on the other side of the Tesco. Oh my god. And he ran around. He was where it was. Dummy. Ran around to do that. <laughs> I say that so lovingly. <laughs> You're silly. As Barkle says, the next litter is going to be insane. Um, well, the next litter is going to be Viking, and he he's crazy. I is mean, that supposed to say they've been here for two weeks? Because not two days. I didn't see it. This. Oh, it's gone now. Ah, uh, Viking. All right, sorry, you were saying something about Viking. Viking will be the next litter. Oh, speaking of Viking. Yeah. Oh, you need to go feed him. Um, yeah, he, uh, he's kind of crazy. So, <clears throat> he's not crazy, he's adorable. Um, but... For a kitten his age, in my opinion, he has a lot of energy and he's very strong. Yeah. He is going to oh, be he's a, a big, strong cat when he is a grown up. Um, and he's he's just like, I feel like he's very um, advanced in his development. Yeah. Like compared to... To, Which is funny because um, he was so slow to gain especially weight. Especially compared to, <clears throat> I can't think of his name. Jim. Biscotti. Yes, <laughs> Can only and Biscotti. I wanted to say Cloudy and like Stormy. <laughs> Jin. Yeah. Compared to Jin, who was so slow to develop in in a lot of ways, um, Viking is just like he's strong. He climbs all over me. He rolls around and like plays with me already. Kittens don't usually play oh, yeah. until they're like three weeks old, you know? He's just, um, he's got, his eyes aren't even open yet. And he's just all, you know, all over the place. He's so freaking adorable. Uh, he, I'm totally in love with him. Oh yeah. So totally it's much more him. interesting trying to get a toy that way. Plus, he, uh, he actually recruited Ada into like that, that venture of trying to do that. Um, Sparkle says, big, strong cat, King Arthur. Oh, did you actually use the King Arthur um, sticker, or is that just actually saying it? I can't see the stickers on this chat feed. Uh, but we do have that as an emote. Yeah, I thought that was the emote. Cool. I love Viking already. Cool. You don't have the thing where I can... The iPad thing doesn't work? No, I have, okay. to, I have to buy it. And I just, uh, should I just do it? Like the bullet? Oh, this How is actually, is it? it's like 10 bucks. Yeah. I was just, I was trying to go buy it. Oh, like 10 bucks. I was trying to go back and forth between another one. Because, uh -huh. like, I'm not positive what the deal on, this was actually holding this camera up. <laughs> um, on um, if we would ever want to add a second camera that way. Through an old device, I, I don't know if we'd have to pay another ten bucks. Sure. So I was trying to compare two different apps, but whatever. Okay. Let's just do it. No, it's fine. I'd rather get. <clears throat> I'd rather get more of him on camera, I guess. Anyway, that's that's and ten bucks worth, so right? So today he is. Let's see, Monday. We got him Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So he's five days since he can move into this room, even if these guys are still here. Um, what we'll probably do is bring in the carrier and put it on top of the dresser of how we had it on Friday right. and then he's gone. Yeah. Um, so in five days, Viking will be in this room. Okay. <clears throat> We're just the full version. I'm doing it, guys. Anybody want to be the sponsor for the, the remote cam? Go to streamlabs.com slash cute avalanche, donate $10, and I'll say that this app was sponsored by you. I don't know why you would do that. All right. God, I hope this is my password. 
I don't know. I hit something that was the wrong word letter. And I hit back, so who knows? Did I do it? Alright. It's been committed to memory. Now I have to run. It's been a while since we've used this. So now I need to run the desktop side of it. Where is that? Oh good, I made a, a taskbar pen. Okay. That's up. Might take a minute for me to get this back in action. <clears throat> oh, and I think that also lets us do like uh, HD. Though since we're going over Wi-Fi, it may be a little. Okay. Speaking of, I need to make sure these are on the same Wi-Fi, and it only has 27% battery, so that's great. I don't know how much Viking you guys are going to get to see today. <laughs> uh, okay, it's on that. And then this is on not that. So I'm going to change this here. Hopefully I don't do anything that breaks the internet. It shouldn't because the computer is plugged in. Um... Alia says, that was awesome. It was a happy Catterday one. Yeah. That was super cute. Um, biking. <laughs> Did I mean closed captioning? Ugh. <coughs> All right. Oh, weird. Why are there two choices? Okay. No, oh, the trial did not expire. I already purchased it. What's your problem? Okay, it's not showing up, so I guess it was the other option? Aha! But also, it does not seem to be acknowledging that I paid for it. Which is a little frustrating. So we'll see if this. I'm gonna just totally uh, restart this. Okay. I uh, hope you're, that you're all having a good day. Yes, we are. Um, <clears throat> except for this thing not doing what I want it to do. Network is good. Maybe I can do it from the desktop side. Where is the thing that lets me adjust the resolution? Apply technology to what we made you. Yes. OK. Thinking, thinking. This side's working, and it hasn't gone to the watermark, so that's good. Is it working? Kind of. Uh, let me drop it down a little bit. Uh-oh. Why isn't this... Is this the kind of thing you need to pay for every year? No. It's just one time? Yeah. All right, I'm going to restart the desktop side. Uh... <laughs> oh! Oh! <coughs> So it brought that up, but again, it's not full resolution. All right, let's go to 720 and hope that we can go to being good enough. Why? Why won't it do this? Uh. All right. Um, weird. Oh, good question. Let's flip it so it's mirrored and words are correct, even though I doubt a man is going to have words on screen. Okay. Is that a finger trap? Basically, um, it is a cat toy. Oops, wrong, wrong camera. It is intended... Oh, I have the uh, studio mode on, so that didn't even do anything. Um, do this. This. So it is intended for the kittens. It's not quite 
the same as a finger trap, but yes, it is that. It, I mean, it is. Uh, it just kind of tapers in the middle. Oh God! No, I'm just we <laughs> reads blinks. All right. Um, what is happening with this thing? It's not letting me do the HD, which is very frustrating. So I'm going to do what it'll let me do. It's having. I wonder if this software just needs to be updated. Um, for right now, I'm just gonna restart the roaming cam, <clears throat> and I have a feeling Amanda's just gonna do it so that she, she can see. So we'll do this, and it's not picking it up now. Oh, come on. Is it working? No. What's wrong? I'm not sure. All right, well, I'll bring it in when I get okay. it working. Sorry about that. Don't import. Okay, uh, it says had to get uh, get some of those with the ends turned because a friend's cat chews them to bits if the ends stick out. Oh, funny. Yeah, I could see that happening. Um, are they made of the nylon? These ones are definitely nylon, which I think is a big help as well. Gonna get this camera going. Close this one more time. Uh, made by the same company. Oh, right on. Uh, okay. We usually just get like a big um, bag of random toys, so it just comes in that. Okay, this thing is no longer letting me change the settings, and it seems to be having an issue with that. side. Oh, Sorry if I'm <clears throat> trying to get this going so we can actually take it into the other room so you can see the other kitten but it is giving me some issues so I apologize mostly for my focus being uh, split um, not I don't apologize that I can't make it work <laughs> I trying to see if like this just needs to be updated or something but I can't find where that is And I think we'll have this running next time. Um, that's a bummer. But yeah, anyway, let's get back into just these kittens. And if anyone has any questions, I will keep messing around with this. But if you have questions, uh, please continue asking. And I will, I will focus more on the chat at this point. Maybe I'm just gonna restart the uh, iPad itself. Why not? because I don't remember how to do that. <laughs> uh, kittens are so full of beans. Yeah, they, so they got spayed and neutered yesterday. And, uh, no, no, no. How, how do you restart the iPad? It's not the same as the iPhone. I've never had to shut it down all the way. Anyway, 
so yeah, yesterday they got spayed and neutered, and then today, uh, well, so they came home, you know, they had anesthetic and whatnot, and they basically slept longer than any kittens we've had. Um, usually we get them back in somewhere around four or five, they're like this, but these guys didn't really wake up until like 9 p.m., and they only got out of the pen for like, you know, a few minutes really before we all went to bed. Um, so now they're just like, we have a whole extra day of energy. Uh, Leah says, yeah, I heard they crashed out and basically supercharged their kitten batteries for mischief and zoomies. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Speaking of which, I have a, like a seven minute clip on YouTube of, uh, some pretty epic zoomies and chaos from the other day. <clears throat> so if you're not already following us on YouTube, go to youtube.com slash cuteavalanche. I am trying to do like highlight videos and clips and other things that are YouTube specific uh, every couple of days. So there's a lot more unique content over there at this point. And eventually I'm going to start taking some of the questions that we've gotten in our chats and make more polished video answers to those questions. Uh, GT says, Maybe some swapped their batteries for supercharged high voltage batteries at the vets, or someone swapped them. Yeah. Yeah, they're new. Uh, they got Teslas in them now. The uh, solar powered. All right, I'm gonna mess around with this thing one more time. So it's glad to see so far they aren't bothering their oh their interceptions hope that all yeah gen generally so yeah I don't know what our this specific vet uh in their instructions were but generally the vets are like yeah try and keep them uh you know uh not active for like a week and the kittens are like no, F that. Within four hours, they're like, I want to climb this thing, and I want to jump. And <laughs> Nobody's ever popped a stitch or anything like that. Um, most of the time, the biggest concern is that they'll, like, uh, try to, like, pick at it or clean it <coughs> or each other's. That's usually where the issue comes. Um, our three basically were kind of shamed. I think we had to do that one time. I can't remember if it was specifically for this or if it was from um, just uh, trying to nurse on each other. I think it was actually just trying to nurse on each other. Uh, GT says, yeah, you are keeping kittens inactive for a week. No chance of that ever happening. Exactly. Uh, Leah says, ours liked to groom those areas. Oh, man. <clears throat> yeah, we've been pretty lucky about that. So far, uh, nothing like that. Oh, it switched. Okay. <clears throat> so, but will it let me? I know, I'm test. I'm tempting fate here. Just will not. Do the HD connection. Okay. All right, I'll take it back down to this. And just so you guys can see Viking. Come on, come on. Did I just mess it all up again? 
Okay. GC says they were cleaning and preening a bit yesterday when they got back from watching the webcam, but nothing too serious. Okay. All right. All right. I did not catch that, but good to know. <coughs> Pardon me. Elia says I should be doing laundry, but oh, look at <laughs> Always be watching kittens. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take this to Amanda. And do I still have a button on here? Oh, that needs to be fixed. Sorry, gang. Hang on. Oh gosh, hi. Why don't I fix that before I take this over? So that's this. Uh, uh, is this the one? No. No, 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 no. Okay. All right, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, okay. Cool, you're going to get some Viking action. done but here you go sorry it's not HD we'll figure that out next time um, yeah she basically was like I'm done bottle feeding and I was like ah oh, come on but there's Viking Amanda hold him up uh, G oh good there we go GT says I did notice either Ada or Tommy were keeping a little away from the group though uh, but may that's maybe Due to scent from the vent, vet. Um, yeah, that's very possible. I think. Who was it? I saw that last night where three of them were sleeping together and one was off to the side. So that's Viking. Viking seven days old now. He's 156 grams, although he did just eat. That's 156 closed captioning. Uh, so he may be over 160 at this point. We'll see. And, oh, oh, she's going to do a little more bottle feeding. He is very cute. Sorry, we couldn't get a little closer in there. It's a little crammed, and I just had to reach over and put it down where it would stand up. Um, and uh, obviously, Amanda's hands are too full to uh, move it around. But yeah. I have a feeling, uh, who is it, uh, GC that said that, that it was probably Ada that was off by herself. Um, I think I think she's the one that, she, I think she just does that kind of on her own occasionally as well. I don't, it may not even have been scent related or vet related. Oh, I just got the hungries. Oh, really? The closed captioning will pull up? Oh, I just got the hungries accurately, but if I say cute avalanche, it doesn't... <laughs> yeah, see? Please. Context, whatever. See? No, nothing? Nope, none of that's right. actually going to move the thing. No, maybe she is. She's just making space for it. Yay! Oh my gosh. So yeah, he has not opened his eyes yet. Um, it will probably be happening in the next few days. <clears throat> Generally, um, actually, it looks like they may be starting. It's hard to tell from here because 
he's so squirmy he doesn't ever get a, a quick look. Like, uh, hard to tell, hard to tell. But yeah, I think it's 8 to 12 days is roughly when eyes open. Maybe a little earlier. I can't remember offhand. <clears throat> I have a feeling he may be on the latter side of things just because he's been a little slow to put weight on. He has a lot of energy, though. Uh, he's very active. So hard to say how, that's, uh, how he's going developmentally. The weight thing could just be he's just putting weight on slowly and it has no effect on anything else. Um, but yeah, he should, he should open his eyes in the next few days. I, it kind of looks like they're starting. I think he might have eyes open in a day or two. And welcome everyone from Grimlock Prime. Grimlock, you're the best. We love you. Big shouts. I don't know what your community is called, or I would say something directly at them. The Grims. I should figure that out since you host so often to a lot of people. <clears throat> Yeah, for those of you just joining us, thanks to Grimlock or anyone else, um, we have two litters currently that we're fostering. On camera right now is Viking the Kitten, who is a solo kitty, representing his own litter. And then, real quick, I'm just going to go to the other room where the Shelbys are, which are four kittens that are eight weeks old and available for adoption in Los Angeles. But right now we're going to focus on this little guy because we don't always have a camera in this room. <coughs> Plus this particular camera, which happens to be a tablet, only had like 30% batteries, so it's not going to last forever. So we're going to get as much screen time as we can. And then, after this chat, I'm going to have to contact the app developer and ask him what the, what the F. <laughs> Why isn't it working right? Hey, Jake, thanks for sharing on Twitter. But yeah, if anyone has any questions about the kittens or fostering or anything that we do, please feel free to ask. That's why we do these chats. As, as well as to uh, give close-ups, much like this one, of the kittens. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I'm so sad that I couldn't get the HD working now. But yeah, so that's Viking the Kitten. He is what you would call a brown tabby with mackerel uh, pattern. Um, looks like he has that very classic tabby M over his eyes and forehead. It basically mackerel means he is uh, striped as opposed to like swirly, which would be a classic tabby. There's, there's a couple different varieties, but those are the, the main ones there. And uh, I feel like I should cut away for this. This feels very personal. <laughs> uh, yeah, with, uh, when you have kittens this young and no mama cat, uh, Amanda does have to stimulate the cat to go to the bathroom, which is what's happening right now. <clears throat> after refeeding. So you're, you're learning something. There's also some pretty cute stuff happening in this room, but I guess you're not going to see it. <laughs> All right, take a break for a second. <clears throat> How's it going, everybody? Yeah, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to ask. That's why we do these chats. Um, 
Ilya says, yeah, I don't want him to get backed up, that's for sure. Definitely, we've had issues. I mean, he's kind of had issues with that, actually. Um, cats this young can have a big problem with that. <clears throat> and he did He did have, like, a one day where he did not go to the bathroom, so it was a little bit of a concern, which was odd, because considering he was also not gaining weight. He didn't lose weight, thankfully, but he definitely had... A couple of days there where he was just an even uh, 120 grams and he was not putting weight on. He wasn't eating very much, so he was just sustaining. But um, yeah, now he's he's doing a lot better. He's eating great. The, the first night we got him, he ate uh, a good, like that entire bottle almost, like 10 grams. Um, <clears throat> Elias says, I saw that it was like, yeep, kitty, you need to go potty. Yes. All right. And I'm just going to go back and forth between these for a minute. So again, for those of you just joining us, these are the Shelbys. They're eight weeks old. They've been with us for a couple weeks. They actually came to us a little older. Um, and then on the other camera is Viking the kitten. Boom, there he is who is only seven days old. So it's a huge difference. These guys are in the room with me are over two pounds at this point. Uh, and then Viking, he's about 160 grams, I'm guessing, but by the amount he ate. <clears throat> 160, closed captioning, pay attention. Not 860, 160. Oh my God. <laughs> Please call that number. And ask for Viking the Kitten. That's not a real number. Don't do that. Uh, please do not read the closed captioning. It is clearly only here for entertainment value and not to be helpful whatsoever. can't really even see that. Um, oh, let's see. This. <laughs> Jacobine. Oh, that was from earlier. I have a different chat readout. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um... All right, you're missing. This is pretty epic. Is this camera doing it? He is. Tommy is is losing his mind over here. He was jumping a whole lot, but now not so much. Maybe I should. Let's see. Maybe I should get the uh, one of these cams on here as well, so you get a little bit of these guys. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Can I get? No, no, no. I don't have the other one on here. What is that? Isn't that the same? Oh, no, no, that's what that is. All right, she's probably weighing him right now. Again, if we had that smart scale, the weight would just show up. I'd be like, oh, he's, she's weighing him. All right, looks like she's putting him into the crate at this point. So I'm going to go back to these guys over in this room, and Amanda will join us shortly. Let me keep this up so I can see just in case she flips back to that. Oh, dang it. Um, cool. And now my child is here. We want chips and potato now. Okay. Do you think you can set her up on your own? No. Okay, I'll be out in one minute. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. Okay, stand by. All right, gang, I will be right back. Um, yeah, it looks like she's done. Uh, let's do that. I'll leave that on. Okay, I'll be right back. Enjoy the these kittens over here doing that thing. And if you have questions, feel free to ask and I'll answer them when I return.
All right, I'm returned. Oh, and now they're over here. What's going on? How are you guys all doing? And uh, I just saw how many people actually joined from Grimlock. So again, triple thanks, Grimlock. And to you and your community, if you're over here watching, I'm Sam. My wife Amanda was the one fe bottle feeding the uh, baby kitten. Viking, we've been fostering for about three years. All of our kittens will be available in the Los Angeles area, in the main room. In this corner, in the main room, weighing in at two pounds, five ounces. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, we have the Shelbys, which are Arthur, uh, the calico over there, the white calico is Polly, and then the two white ones are Tommy and Ada. Tommy is the slightly bigger one. And in the other room, Viking the kitten, who is seven days old. Uh, and pay no attention to our closed captioning, because it pays no attention to us. So I got all that right. Isn't that nice? <laughs> so please feel free to ask any questions you may have about the kittens or fostering, what we do, etc. Uh, that's why we do these chats. We do these chats four times a week. Saturday mornings around 10. Mondays at noon and Thursday, Tuesday and Thursdays at 9.30 p.m. That's all Pacific Standard Time because, as I said, we're based out of Los Angeles. <clears throat> so, yeah, if you're in Los Angeles or know someone in Los Angeles who desperately should have cats in their life, uh, you can send them our way. The four in this room are officially available for adoption. They just had their spay and neuter appointments yesterday. Uh, they got... Uh, a round of vaccines and microchipped and all that good stuff. Uh, combo tested. <clears throat> You're supposed to be watching the show. Distinctly asked you if you were going to watch that show. Uh, come on. Out, out, out. Let's go. I just forgot about this part. Okay. You guys take a watch. Go watch. You come in after the chat. Golly. All right. I'm just going to make sure Amanda's not. I think she turned the camera off, so I'm pretty sure it's done. Who that? Okay. Clearly, that knocking was from an actual kitten. I'm going to do this so you, oh no, you can't see anything with that. They're all under a camera right now. <clears throat> all right. Well, I'll wait for Amanda to get back, but if there's no more questions, then maybe we'll wrap up the human portion of this and let you guys just have kittens. So this is Amanda. Okay. This just in. She'll be back in a minute. While there's a little lull, uh, I would like to give a quick shout out to everyone who has signed up on our uh, Patreon to be a monthly donor. Um, it's really one of the best ways you can help us out. 
<clears throat> to mitigate the cost of food and litter and stuff like that because all of that's covered by our own uh, expenses. The, the rescue we work with does take care of medical expenses like the microchipping and the vaccines and the spay and neuter, but all of the food and the litter and the accessories, things like the cat tree and fun stuff for the kittens and toys and whatnot, that, that all comes out of our pocket. So special shout out to everyone on our Patreon, Bridget, Jesse, Kitty Kung Fu, uh, Means, uh, Michael, and Rizico. Thank you all for uh, committing to a monthly donation. That's amazing. And it really, really, really helps us plan um, for, you know, how many kittens we can take on at one time and things like that. So if you're out there, you're watching, you're interested in uh, supporting the kittens or helping out, the three major ways are Patreon, our Amazon wish list, or a straight donation. If you want to go to Patreon, you go to patreon.com slash cute avalanche. If you go to the Amazon wish list, you can purchase something directly and you'd be like, I know they're getting food. I know they're getting litter. You know, I want to give them something fun. Uh, so you can go to cuteavalanche.com slash wish list. And then you can pick something specific. Uh, if you just want to make a straight donation, like a one-time donation, you can go to streamlabs.com slash cuteavalanche. But yeah, again, not here to beg for money. I am here to show off kittens. If anyone has a question or wants to see a specific kitten close up, please feel free to ask. Couldn't say the word kitten close up. Good enough for the, the captioning it is what it is. for now. I think they're winding down. I think they've gotten most of their energy out. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. Smokey, you made it. We're actually probably wrapping up the chat portion of this pretty soon. We're still in here. I'm waiting for my wife to come back. Uh, I'm going to run out for a minute, and then I'll be back. How's it going, Smokey? Okay. I'm just going to run out for one second, and I'll be right back myself. What did I miss? Uh, my wife did bottle feeding with the kitten. Other than that, not so much. We're... We have a lot of people watching, quietly watching, but sure. watching. They just want Kate and they don't want to hear you talk. That's my theory. What are you guys doing with this poor shark? Shark attack! Are you attacking sharks? Are you attacking sharks? Oh, sweet girl. Baby girl. Ada, I mean Iris. Sweetheart, we told you you can come in and snuggle the kitties after we're done with our chat. Right now you're supposed to be with Betty watching your show. <clears throat> come on. You can snuggle with her in a few minutes. They're so cute. I know they're too cute. Um, Smokey says, it's going. I feel ya. It's a pretty tired, sleepy day. Where are all the kittens at? It's pretty overcast here. Yeah, that always affects me. I always have less energy on overcast days. 
I hear you, Iris. Where are you at, Smokey? You don't want to? Uh, why not? I like the overcast. I just don't have the energy when it's over. Like, I yeah. like, like generally, like it. it's a nice temperature. Like, yeah. I'm going to enjoy going outside a little bit and hanging out. It's oh, just, you're in New York? Nice. Yeah, yeah we're on the other coast. Um, so we don't have to deal with any of uh, that humidity or anything. Although overcast days shouldn't be so humid. humid hu wow. <laughs> <laughs> the overcast days are a little bit more humid, but they're also cooler, so it balances Go. a little bit. Yeah. You, Scoop. Go watch your show. We're not allowed to do the show. I'm We will after the show you from coming. After the show. <sighs> Whatever the last show was kept her attention. And she was the one that wanted to switch back to chip and potato. Never again. The last one was Yuhu or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Smokey says, I don't mind it. My head, however, doesn't uh, end up. Gotcha. <clears throat> My God, child. Oh, yeah, because of the whole waking up every two hours bottle feeding thing, I just feel really out of it right. in general. And I'm kind of stuffed up. So I've got that like stuffy head situation and sleep-deprivedness. <clears throat> yeah. uh, I feel bad this past week was like the girls' official first week of summer vacation, and I feel like it just flew by because all I've been doing is bottle feeding all week. I kind of feel guilt, like a mom guilt. Right. When I haven't been like doing more stuff with them. They've just been sort of left to their own devices to play. Um, yeah. Oh my god, I think I actually got this to do the thing with HD. Finally. All right, let's do some of this. What? That's not... I have to... Um, hang on. Let me uh, make this actually work now. Wait. If I, no, that's right. So this is... This? Okay, cancel that. Ha! Blam! That actually is bigger than I do see the, spider. the screen. This Seems is like a being fun done. Kittens to play with. They can chase after it. Shit. Screen. There we go. Kittens love to chase bugs. I don't even think I can notice the bugs. <clears throat> Yeah, I finally got the HD working somehow. I think it just, I think it just took time to like recognize that it had been purchased. Iris, shh. If you're gonna be in here, you can't be. And this is how the kittens do Skype calls. <clears throat> yeah. GT, I hate to burst your bubble, but kittens only do Zoom. Uh -huh. Good. Good. Good jokes are good. Hi, 
you doing? Hello. The nice thing is with this app that you can actually um, <clears throat> do pictures and videos, but it saves them directly to the computer. I wonder if it does a local version too. Oh gosh, Paul. I'm sorry. I'm picking you up. You okay? Get in on that. Get in on that. I'm going to turn. Oh no, camera down. Uh, I was going to turn the picture in the picture off. Let me set this back up. Yeah. Alright, well, now that this works, we need like a, <coughs> a good standing solution for it. GT says Arthur is loving all the pets and pups. Yep, you're looking pretty comfy. Oh geez, I didn't realize he was right here. I was like basically putting this in her face. I just want to turn the picture of the picture <laughs> off on this so that they can get the better view. Okay.
get the little heavy. The little brown with the iPad. It's pretty heavy. Questions? I think we're ready to wrap up the chat portion of the thing. Alright. Uh, yeah, if you have any last minute questions, please feel free to ask. Otherwise, I think we're going to wrap up the human portion of this and get on with our day. <coughs> I have yet to eat an actual breakfast, and I'm kind of looking forward to it. Um, We'll be in and out of the room, I'm sure, throughout the day. I think Amanda and Iris might be in here for a little bit longer. Um, I love that, that Polly and Tommy are playing with this sparkle ball, and like she picked it up in her mouth and like took it away <laughs> so she could go play with it, like away from it. Uh, uh, yeah, again, yeah. we do these chats four times a week. Saturday mornings around 10 a.m., Mondays at noon, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9.30 p.m. It's all Pacific Standard Time. We are based in Los Angeles. And the four kittens, I know, the four kittens in this room are officially available for adoption in the Los Angeles area. If you or someone you know needs kittens in your life, go to kittenrescue.org and you can fill out the cat adoption form there. Uh, just mention Amanda or per foster mama. And the names of the kittens. And the names of the kittens. <coughs> and it's P-U-R-R, -R, foster mama, closed captioning. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, yeah, the kittens, once again, the two white ones are Ada and Tommy. Uh, the calico on camera four is Polly and Arthur over here, the brown tabby with Iris. And that's it for chat. Uh, I'm gonna do our community uh, slideshow. So if you do have a fur pal of your own and you wanna share that with the world, head over um, to our website, qdavalanche.com slash submit. Um, and send us a picture of your fur pal. We'll post it on our Instagram if we like it, and it'll appear here in our community pets portal as well. I know that doesn't post onto DLive, and I need to update the messaging on there. We used to be able to pull the hashtag directly for Instagram, but that stopped working. So submitting on, uh, there's Viking, look at that little guy. Submitting through the website is the best way to share your pet. There's another one of Viking. And that's our house cat, Aria, who occasionally you'll see come into this room. That's when she was a kitten herself. Um, she comes in generally when the kittens are older like these guys are now and have been combo tested and cleared she's allowed access to the room so you may actually see her once or twice before uh, these kittens get adopted all right and that being said I'm gonna step out and go get a lot more coffee I will be checking out the uh, chat room I'll keep an eye on that so if anyone has any questions you can still ask those uh, closed captioning is going to go off and we'll leave it up to cats to field answers. <laughs>